Hi guys, welcome back for another one. I am Mr. Free to Play, that is right, I'm a free to play player and I give free to play player advice, tips, tricks, and other things. It's Sunday, so it's another hot take on the dev blogs. So if you guys are ready for it, sit back, relax, and let's get into it. All right, we got two updates this week, mainly because of the 4.0 release. So let's go over that one first. All right, so the first thing I see here is we're arriving over the course of the release. Some of the important things that I see there are the characters we're gonna get. We're gonna get Ebony Maul, which is gonna be a legendary unlock. Taskmaster, which is the event campaign that is currently on its countdown timer. And it's saying Ironheart, which is most likely gonna be a blitz because well, we need a blitz release. There is one character not mentioned here and i'm pretty sure that was just a mistake it's called obsidian i expect him to come this patch too in a blitz though it's not mentioned it is expected and there's probably a reason behind that and we'll get that here in a little bit uh the raid difficulty selector um i started seeing some data mines on this it is looking promising so i'm hoping this one's another bonus for the players uh the summon characters now benefit from the stark tech boost and red stars uh this one is can be a scary one um, we're probably not used to nick fury's minions being that strong and in some cases they're just as strong as the other characters at this point um, so cases like that where teams or solo characters that we took for granted um, got a huge boost that is for sure enhancements to, uh, to the mercenaries which we're going to get into and then obviously the covert trait with the master class and of course if you guys have not seen my video on taskmaster i will put an eye on the corner of the screen go check it out if you are free to play um, it is possible for you to get a four or five star taskmaster i've done it event after event after event and just a reminder to my viewers out there free to play is not the same thing as a new player new players will not be able to pull off my method because you don't have your roster built up above level 60 yet on key characters or have key characters unlocked but you could still do the event and earn as much as you can by following my method your resources might be more valuable somewhere else you have to be the judge of that before i move on from this event campaign uh master class with taskmaster they did improve the drop rate from 10 percent to 14 percent so you are the odds are slightly better for Taskmaster than they were for Proxima Midnight. So don't let that deter you guys. If you guys see my Proxima Midnight video, you could still have some good luck. Obviously, orbs are always RNG. So uh, proceed with caution is the only thing that I would say. Bugs. I'm not going to go through all these bugs. Some of these bugs I didn't even know even existed, like Crystal's passive ability. Like, okay. Um, if a lot of free-to-play early game players, you know, you don't have Inhumans unlocked. You don't really know what these characters are text say they're supposed to versus what they do um, a lot of the whales you guys probably are more familiar with this or like or really late game players out of all the bugs the one that i'm happy about the most is the pop-up bug yes that was annoying when you just see a bunch of overlaid pop-ups you like you have like oh here's a pop-up for this ad well here's a pop-up for your raid that just completed here's a pop-up for another ad like it's just yeah that was annoying uh, i understand why they do pop-ups i wish they didn't exist but you know, it is what it is. So the updated characters for the mercenaries. Killmonger made the Wakandans slightly better than what they used to be. These two things on his passive that uh, that say this, said this before, but it was just for raids before. So now it's for every game mode. So my Wakandans got a little better in Blitz. But other than that, I, I'm not one who really uses Killmonger for anything else other than a Wakanda team on Blitz. So... Maybe some of you guys out there use him for a little bit more and he's, he's good. But also, since he lost the in raids, he can work well for mercenary groups if you don't have your Wakandans built up, but you have a good Killmonger. I'm not going to break down these other improvements to Bullseye, Mercenary Lieutenant, and Mercenary Riot Guard. Uh, a bunch of other YouTubers have already covered this one, and I think that they did a really good job at describing it. it overall, because of the bonus to Mark Lieutenant and Riot Guard, they do make Bullseye and other mercenaries better than what they used to be. Oh yeah, and don't forget Sniper down there. And then the weekly dev blog that we get every week. This one is called the Black Order Axeman. It's now saying, now live versus battle. You guys will have to let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about this versus battle mode. To me, I absolutely love it. I wish I had more time to play. I mean, I play the game a bunch now in general, but I wish I had more time to actually play this mode against my alliance mates, some against some viewers. Um, 
I really have been a busy guy lately. My alliance can probably tell you about it. So it's really hampered my ability to really like dig into the versus battles and get very, very good at this mode. Now there are some things I've learned over the course of the last couple of days by just playing and watching other people play and kind of get a better indication of some strategies with this, which I'm gonna get into at the end as soon as I go over some of the features that they have listed here. Uh, the first bullet point there pointing out that you can now favor characters for this versus battle game mode. As you see here, I got my Black Bolt. He's not the highest CP person, so he's probably buried a little bit, but if I want him to appear to the top of my list, I just click this little icon. He is now favorited, so he will appear at the top of my versus battle list as characters to pick. I'm gonna unclick that for now because I'm, I'm not quite sure what my permanent strategy is. And on the other flip coin of that, I'm probably gonna end up playing some viewers and I don't want them seeing my strategy either. So yeah, I'm not doing that live. So another bullet point here that I want to point out and talk about is your most powerful characters may get banned or rejected. So build squads that don't rely on one character. So the one of the strategies that I've come across in this game mode so far is trying to build combos. You're most likely not going to get a full team to synergize. So you want to build a combo that does something really well. Um, if you need examples of combos, it would be like Loki and Captain Marvel. Loki puts the defense down, Captain Marvel ults, hopefully one-shotting somebody. Uh, another combo is Vision and Hela. Vision puts the ability block on, Hela spreads the ability block. So examples like that are like combos. Um, if you're able to get uh, Symbiote, Spider-Man, and Venom on the same team, you know, that's a combo. And it also allows you, if one of those get banned, for you to add Carnage in that spot for the combo. Like, you're trying to look for combos and all of that you need to pay attention to your opponent's picking too because you want to if you really know your characters you kind of have an idea who counters who you want to make sure that you're paying attention to that and picking characters that counter them too you don't need to make a full team that counters another full team because it may not work in your favor but you definitely want combos you definitely want to pay attention to your opponent uh, another bullet point that brings up another good strategy uh knowing that a player gets to ban one of your choices, try baiting your opponent by selecting a powerful character knowing it will get banned. Then use your sixth pick on a character you wanted in that slot. Now, I was doing some versus battles early this morning with an Alliance teammate. And I, for some reason, both battles we did, I got the very first pick and we didn't ban Ultron. So my first pick, I just kept picking Ultron knowing it was gonna get banned. I like being able to go first more than I like going to go second because you pick two people and you're like, you want to pick a combo right from the start, but you really can't because you know one of them are going to get banned as were with the very first pick, you pick Ultron. You know when your turn comes back up, the next two people you're going to pick, which you can pick a combo, you know neither one of them are getting banned. They're banning the Ultron. So I really like the first position and picking in, in this game mode, that is for sure. And that's pretty much all the tips and tricks I have for that game mode right now. Uh, the one thing they add down here is how you know how to add players to battle them. Uh, just one thing I want to throw out is I know my player ID is out there and people have been adding me and requesting to battle me. Like I said, I have been really, really, really busy lately. Uh, if you add me in your thing and you want to battle me and I just, I don't have time. It's just because I literally don't have time. Trust me, I would love to battle you guys. I would love to, you know, battle you guys and record some videos battling you. But yes, it's it's been crazy. <laughs> That's all I can say about that one, guys. Don't, you know, don't take offense to it. Another thing is with the, the whole entire, the whole entire friend thing. At some point, I'm gonna max out on contacts. I may have to end up deleting some of you guys to add some other people for other things. It's nothing personal. It's just me. I only have so much spots to, for my contacts and I, there are some people that have to be there and then there are some people that that want to come in and battle me as a as a viewer and i like battling my viewers so once again if you find out that one day i'm your friend and one day i'm not it's nothing personal i just had to make room all right next up is call obsidian now this is a good indication that he's coming i mean i would say he's most def definitely next up before ironheart but i can't really say that because we really don't know his kit yet I mean, we get an idea what it is here, but we don't get the percentages and stuff like that. As we're Ebony Maul, Taskmaster, and Ironheart, all that information has already been released. We know what their kits are. So it'd be interesting to see if he's an upcoming Blitz character or if we're gonna get Ironheart first, but this is definitely an indication he is upcoming. He is gonna be here 
sooner rather than later. His tags are Villain, Cosmic, Bio, Protector, Black Order. More Bio. Uh, if you guys are like me, we're probably starved on Bio gear right now. It seems like a lot of good characters have been Bio lately. And more specifically, Black Bolt, which I'm pretty sure majority of us have unlocked recently. And if you haven't unlocked him yet, you definitely want to work towards him. Not only, not only because he's a good OP character, uh, you need Asgardians to unlock him, and Asgardians are really good too. So I mean, it, you can't go wrong building for Black or building up to unlock Black Bolt at all. I mean, you're, it's a win-win scenario, guys. But uh, just looking at this kit, I'm not going to go into detail. I'm pretty sure there's going to be YouTubers out here that that are going to break this down and that are used to doing these kind of things and probably do a much better job than me. So I'm just going to give you guys a short version. It looks like he's going to synergize with Ebony Maul and Thanos. It doesn't look like Proxima Midnight. Or Corvus Clave are going to have any synergy with them at all. They, I mean, as a team, Black Order will work well together. It just seems like if you if you put Prox and Midnight on the same team as Call Obsidian, they're not going to synergize to each other. So it looks like the pair ups are Ebony Maul and Call Obsidian, and Prox and Midnight and Corvus Clave. Looks like those are the two pairing offs of uh, the Black Order. If you have to make separate teams. And next up on the dev blog is the gold calendar is returning for 2 million gold. I'm actually surprised they didn't spread it over 14 days because you guys are getting a full 2 million over 7. That is huge. I know a lot of the player base will be happy with that. And I know a lot of the player base will probably complain that they need training mats. Uh, no, scratch that. I know for a fact Reddit will say, thanks for the gold, we need training mats. Upcoming blitzes. It looks like Monday through Wednesday. We are going to be getting shield assault, which is a good one He's one of the shield characters. I still don't have up to seven stars So this will definitely help me get him there without me having to farm him directly and Then Thursday through Saturday. We are going to get Thor another win for me another character I have not took to seven stars yet. So this is going to be a huge win for another character I don't need so if you guys are newer to the game Definitely two blitzes you should be jumping on. A lot of the late game players are not going to put a full effort into this one just because they probably already have them seven starred. And last but not least, bonus event. So obviously Taskmaster is coming up, being released through his Masterclass event campaign if you have not spent for him already. The payday event is coming up. So guys, if you have your mercenaries ready to go, get on that for some extra gold. Personally, recommendations when it comes to uh, mercenaries before I said, you know, this event's just as is as you get the characters up there. There's no, should be no priority on this one just because the Merc characters aren't really good for anything else. I mean, yeah, you could throw them in Blitz, but with Taskmaster now and being a war defensive team, there's probably more motivation than ever to actually start building mercenaries. I personally am probably still going to hold off on this one just because of being free to play. Yeah. There's no way I'm getting a seven star on Taskmaster out the gate. So there's no point in me going hardcore on this. I am already up to the fifth star of the Merc of the payday event as is. I still have six and seven to go, but I'll just hold off until Taskmaster comes farmable and I can actually build a seven star Merc team. And that's assuming that something else meta hasn't come and knocked that off its pedestal by the time I gets around to being farmed. But guys, that is my hot take on the dev blog. Overall, Nothing really negative I can say about the past week. It's been a good week. The improvements to the game have been good. Uh, what they have planning coming up all sounds good to me too. So like they say at the end of the dev blog, until next time, good luck commanders.